Hi, my name is Tony Jarrett Wardner and I'm playing Imam Saleem in The Invisible Hand. There have been uh, a few plays and productions. I wouldn't restrict it to plays. I would say that there are films and plays. And So Amadeus um, was uh, one of the ones I think that first incorporated music and speech and I used to sing a lot as well. Um, so listening to Mozart, listening to people describe music really tapped into what made me feel something. Also watching actors like Anthony Hopkins for some reason really struck a chord with me and inspired me to kind of want to do this for a living. I just did uh, the musical Benedict Light Beckham uh, in the West End and that was definitely a high point because of the part I got to play, I got to play um, the dad to uh, the main girl and had some beautiful songs and the young actress playing Jess, Natalie Dew and I got on very well and acting with her was a real pleasure so every night I kind of got to, I got to tell a young Asian girl to go and be glorious and live her dreams and that's kind of the message I always wanted as a child and that I know a lot of people who go into this business have always wanted people to be behind them going, go, live your dreams, fly, be glorious. So that was really nice. That was lovely. If you're late for an entrance doing a play at the National Theatre, you get this lovely voice over the tannoy that says, Tony Jo Wardner, you are off, off, off when you know you should be on stage, when there's an audience waiting, when the rest of your castmates are waiting. And that did happen once. Um, the voice actually came as I was sprinting to the stage. Uh, and um, I managed to get there. The, my fellow castmates were excellent and improv and covered really well. But my character did en enter the scene really out of breath and quite sweaty. I have supposed, I think I've done a lie by omission, I mean I have. Um, when I got the job on Silent Witness, it was quite clear from, to me from the script that the character needed to drive, and I don't have a driving licence. Um, but they didn't ask, and I didn't mention it. So when it came to the actual shooting of the scenes, I got a couple of driving doubles, <laughs> which was nice. I don't. Um, I think I, I probably used to when I was younger. Um, as I've gotten older, I feel a bit. I feel a lot more confident, a lot more relaxed. Um, the nerves that come are good nerves. Having a bit of nervous energy before you go on stage is always, I think, a healthy thing. So the only thing you will find, or actors find me doing at the side of stage, oddly, is rubbing my palm because I feel a little nervous tingle down into my palm. I've, I don't know why, but I've always had it, I remember having it at school as well. So you'll find me kind of just doing this a little bit. But there's no real ritual, it's just, I mean, take the words of Alec Guinness, just remember where you've come from and check your flies. And on you go. I want to say Will Smith, but I think I'm being optimistic. Um, I think the hardest thing to get used to is the uncertainty. It's a little bit like a metaphor for life because you can't, you can never predict what's genuinely going to happen. So when you get comfortable with that, it's actually quite freeing because you just go, you know what, I'll just, I'll just focus on now. I'll just focus on what I'm doing right now, do that as well as I can. And if I get lucky enough to get work afterwards and keep on going, then great. The Invisible Hand is on at the Tricycle Theatre from the 12th of May. Book tickets at www.tricycle.org. Code.uk.